Good morning. At Aurora, we're building a technology that allows cars and trucks to drive themselves. The Aurora driver uses a combination of LiDAR, camera, and radar data to see hundreds of meters all around it so it can drive safely. Our vehicles are on the road in California, Texas, and Pennsylvania. And today I'm going to share a quick glimpse of our technology and how we use AWS to help transform the future of transportation. For many, the idea of self-driving cars seems really new, but it's actually not. This is a drawing from Scientific American from 1918, over a century ago. Uh, it shows not just a horseless carriage, but their vision for what a driverless carriage might look like. Over the decades after that, there was lots of interesting work, but a big step for self-driving technology came in the early 2000s when DARPA organized the Grand Challenges. These were robot races across the Mojave Desert. This is Sandstorm, Carnegie Mellon's vehicle, which I helped lead the development of. This vehicle utilizes much of the same technology that we use today. It has cameras, radars, LIDAR, lots of computing in that big box, and it even relies on HD maps. Fast forward a decade and to 2016, this was the final accomplishment of my time leading what is now Waymo. We helped a blind man drive through a suburb of Austin alone. This highlighted the promise of the technology, but also the importance it has in everyday life for every one of us. Now another five years, at Aurora, we've been building the next generation of self-driving technology. It's built around a common core that enables us to drive both trucks and cars. This video showcases the Aurora driver making the 200 and some mile trip between Houston and Dallas on the I-45. This is one of the busiest, most congested trucking corridors in the US, seeing over 4,500 trucks a day. In this video, you can see how we combine sensor data to provide a clear model of the world and then drive safely through it. In this case, we're pulling a load uh, full of uh, FedEx packages. I'll let this play. Transportation is critically important. It's the backbone of the US and global economies, and it's essential to our way of life. There's also a profound opportunity to make it better. In the US, about 40,000 people die on our roads every year, and we can drive that towards zero with self-driving technology. 25 and a half million people don't have the same ability to get around that you and I might take for granted. For those people, we can provide them the mobility to get them where they need to go. And for those of us who can drive, even those of us who enjoy driving, commuting is not fun. That's an hour a day. We can make that better. And then finally, we're all witnessing the fragility of our supply chains. This is partly due to the massive shortage of truck drivers in the US. Today, we're short about 80,000 drivers. And by the end of the decade, we expect to be short 160,000 drivers. The Aurora driver can help us fill that gap. We've built the Aurora driver to help people and goods get through the world but our first product is going to be in freight driving 18 wheelers. This is our company's mission. It's to deliver the benefits of self-driving technology safely, quickly, and broadly. To deliver the benefits, we have to make the technology work, and it's an immensely complex and challenging technology that is built on breakthroughs in perception, embedded computing, machine learning, motion planning, decision making, and advanced sensor technology. Our approach to development mirrors our mission. We put safety first, we move quickly, and we're designing technology that's broadly scalable. Virtual testing is key to realizing this approach. Our virtual testing suite enables us to develop dramatically more efficiently and safely compared to pure on-road development approaches. We accelerate our development and validation through scalable simulation in virtual environments. Simulation allows us to test at a scale and cost we just couldn't achieve in the physical world. We built a proprietary technology that allows us to accurately model how energy and light moves through the world. This allows us to build physically accurate sensor simulations of cameras, of conventional LIDARs like this, and of our proprietary first light LIDAR, which is an FMCW technology that allows us to see further and react more quickly than conventional LIDAR. And of course, we can also model radar data as well. Around this, we've built a procedural generation framework that allows us to create a basic scene and then create complex variations on that scene easily. This becomes particularly important when we're testing scenarios that are too rare or dangerous to just hope we come across in the real world. 
In this scenario, for example, we have a small girl running out between two parked cars. Fortunately, the Aurora driver, of course, is able to react to this and stop safely. Because it's so useful, we do a lot of simulation. We do over 5 million simulations a day, and over Aurora's history, we've done the equivalent of over 6 billion miles of simulated driving. This all relies on an agile and robust software infrastructure. We generate an incredible amount of data and use a substantial amount of computational infrastructure. In simulation, we leverage S3 to store simulated logs. We use RDS databases to track the performance and metrics of our simulations. And then we use massive amounts of EC2 and spot instances powering EKS for our largest distributed workloads. It's actually kind of incredible. I'm going to take a turn now and talk about our perception system. Perception is the ability of our vehicles to see and understand the world around them. And for this work, we rely heavily on SageMaker for model training and development. Building those models requires a massive amount of data, and the scale of the uh, data we deal with is incredible. With our latest hardware kit, we're generating more than two gigabytes of data per second. That's the equivalent of a VHS data tape per second. We'll, well, I'll never underestimate the bandwidth of a station wagon full of data driving down the freeway. It's going to be hard for them to keep up with one of our trucks. So how does our perception system work? Well, it begins with our state-of-the-art sensor fusion approach, which combines data from the 20-plus sensors around our vehicle and progressively fuses that data with map data to produce high-quality detections of actors and pedestrians in full 3D and at very long ranges. Our sensor to tensor algorithm extracts data from the different views, transforming them into a common 3D representation. We call this the Euclidean tensor view. These views are then stacked together and processed by a neural a convolution engine to produce detections, which include velocity, size, type of the object, and all the uncertainty about it. And this algorithm is one of three cores of our perception system. We combine the sensor to tensor system with our sensor to adjustment engine and our remainder explainer algorithm to create a robust, persistent view of the world that enables the Aurora driver to understand the world despite the mask of complexity and inherent in the real world. How robustly does it work? Well, here's an example of the Aurora driver operating in a monsoon rainstorm in Texas. This is an incredibly challenging scene. As you can see, there's a lot of rain on the camera lens, there's water being thrown up by the road, and there's heavy rain in the air. Despite all of this, the Aurora driver is able to drive safely down the road, even as other people, human drivers, are pulling off to stop. As you can imagine, making this work reliably is incredibly challenging. I've been working in this space for the last 18 years, and at Aurora, we've been working together for the last five. Despite the challenges, the progress we're making is incredibly exciting. The promise of our technology is clear, and we're excited about what the future holds. With this technology, our roads can be safer, and transportation can be more accessible, more efficient, and more dependable. Ultimately, the Aurora driver will enable our world's roads to better connect us to the things we need and the people we care about. I look forward to seeing you on this journey. Thank you.